Hey everyone, how you doing today? As promised in our daily financial news, we are going to be talking with a student and friend who is taking on my 75 day hard real estate challenge. So we'll figure out what day he's in. We'll take a look at what he's doing and how he's tracking his uh, behavior. We'll, we'll figure out what's working, what's not working. And I'm sure he'll give me some feedback to make it better. Uh, but let's welcome Sam to the show. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Michael. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. So Sam, real quick, you're in the state of Texas. You guys have been hit by an ice storm. Is, is the power on? You have heat? No, no icicles dangling from the roof? We're good? Yeah, thank God. Everything is back now. And uh, yeah, no, no, no pipe bust and uh, no, no leads. And uh, thank God we, we got, we got through this uh, safely. And, uh, and yeah, we're warm back, back warm again. <laughs> Very cool. So, Hey, before we bring up, it was your... a tough week. Yeah, I bet. I, yeah, it's, you don't get below 30 in Texas a lot. <laughs> so no. that was pretty no, we cool. We got to nine, yes. nine single digits. Single digit, yeah. Wow, that's cold. Yeah, that doesn't happen a lot in Texas. Doesn't happen a lot in California. I, I think California would shut down if we got to nine. I, I think, I mean, we don't, I mean, just, you know, as you know, we don't really prepare for nine. We don't have jackets and, you know, these big sweaters and stuff. It's like, what? It's nine? What's going on? <laughs> Not even Texas. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So do me a favor, Sam. Tell me about why you decided to take on this challenge. What, what was it about it that you saw in it that you said, you know what, I'm going to take this on. I'm going to see if it helps me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been uh, patiently wanted to get into the real estate for a while. It's been probably, uh, probably a year over a year now. And, uh, and I, um, to tell you that, so, so I started by looking at a small book by, uh, by Robert Kiyosaki and it was an online free book and I read it through it and I said, well, it just attracted me and I, uh, I liked it and I liked what I saw. And since then, I, uh, I, I attended every RIA or real estate meeting in town. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then, but then I got lost. <laughs> so, and then I got, because I heard of all about the wholesaling, fix and flip, buy and hold. Um, so many, uh, so many things that, you know, notes, um, there's, a, there's a lot that you hear in these meetings and there's, uh, there's experts, there are experts in everything mm -hmm. and, you know, a little, so I consider myself a newbie. And so, um, uh, then I saw your, your videos and I, uh, I said, well, you know, this is, this can be a start for me and uh, this can be, uh, something I, uh, I really liked, and it's it's it seems like it's a, a step by step that that someone like me you can do, like everyone can do. I don't have much time, I don't, uh, and you know, not much money too. But so it's a step by step, and you can go from there. Yeah. And uh, but I liked the really when I said, well, I wanted to, I really wanted to uh, uh, get involved and do it the right way. And I said, and, and you have the 75 challenge. And I said, well, I, if, I, if I go to this route, go, the, go this route, I want to take it. I want to use my days uh, and I, wanna, I want to invest in myself, use my days, invest in my time, hmm. and just do everything I can. And then uh, I said, 75 days is you know, going away from my life. So I want to make the best of it. I want to take the 75 challenge. Nice. <laughs> so, so I decided to go. So I, I decided to go. I'm not just going to yeah. do it on the, on the least, on the least side. I want to take the, make them make the, the, the best of it. That's awesome, Sam. So a couple of things I want people to realize. So I, I, first off, I created the 75 hard real estate challenge. It was inspired by the physical challenge, which I'm actually going through right now. So I, 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 I like the framework. I like that there were little pieces. I like that it was, it was hard, but not impossible. And what I really did is I built the 75 hard real estate challenge around everything I did way back at the beginning, right? It may not have been 75 days in a row, but they were all activities that I did nearly every day. And I knew it could help people. And most importantly, as you know, it's free. It's a playlist on my channel. I think each video is like four to eight minutes long. 
And we're going to go through it on your spreadsheet. In fact, I'll pull that up next because yeah. if you want to learn real estate investing, you don't have, you don't have money, you don't want to take an online course, but you want to get better. You're going to see in this spreadsheet, at least the framework to take a free activity, at least dollar free, it's time consuming and get better. So Sam, let me uh, let me bring it up so we can look at it together. Yes. And uh, we'll just talk about each tab because what you've done here, folks, just to give you a lay of the land, uh, let me collapse this so we can make this bigger. What we see here, folks, is each tab, and you can see the worksheets or tabs at the very bottom. Um, those are each of the activities. In my 75 hard challenge, I think there are eight tasks that you're supposed to do every day. So uh, Sam, why don't you tell us about task number one? Yeah, sure. So task number one uh, is the spreadsheet itself. And this is where you, you, you add all the work you do and all the things you track every day. And so basically, you know, I, um, I chose a zip code. I wanted to start mm -hmm. with your recommendation, just like that. I chose a zip code and I, uh, and I focused on that zip code. It's been now, it's been 40 days, take out the freezing week. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go back to the, about 35 days, let's say. Okay. And um, so I, I tracked all the, all, the, all the houses that show up in that zip code. And I, uh, I also looked at the pricing when they show up, when they, uh, they are pending. And, um, and, and to just give you an example, like the, it, it basically it has the address Mm -hmm. And it has how many rooms, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, yep. uh, what is the square foot. And um, I have, we looked at, I looked at the notes because you recommend that. Look mm -hmm. at, write notes, write questions, uh, understand that, what is the difference between those houses. And I, uh, I basically added other things that I am interested in as well. Yeah. Um, so, so I can add notes, like, for example, flood. And for example, I uh, added just a garage and I added if there was a reduction in price, if not, um, if there was an increase in the price, I just wanted to add that as well. And, and that spreadsheet also follows, follows with the price, of course, the mortgage payment, the interest rate, mm -hmm. and it, it just tells you the closing cost. Yep. And, and so, uh, like is, you say, this is your... This is your demo, demo, uh, denominator mm -hmm. in the in your in your formula. Yep. And then I go from that, and I add the taxes, insurance, property management, maintenance, yeah. repair, and uh, I get the uh, the numerator, which mm -hmm. is the total expense. Or mm -hmm. actually, actually, I will go back to that. Yeah. Yeah. The. Yeah, it's rent minus. I, yeah, rent minus all of your expenses. Rent minus. Yeah. Total expense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's the spreadsheet, yeah. which will lead me to the yield, yep. which is the most important um, number there in the blue. And so uh, I'm looking for a high yield, high, high yield. Yep. You know, I'm a new, so I'm a new, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, you know, uh, one day, I hope uh, soon enough, I will, I'll find a property with the, you know, with the high, high yield and uh, yeah. So, so a couple of right. things I want to say here, Sam, on this step number one. First off, you nailed it. This is exactly what I would hope is here. And you've added details that are important to you, which is awesome. Because I don't know your market, right? Like flood risk, not something I consider in my market where I buy. But, you know, that's add the variables that are important to you and your market. So what you have here, Sam, in the step one is exactly what I would want. You're looking at it every day. You've got a tight criteria. Back to your earlier point, what you want to do here is be focused, right? It's step one of my course. And then you're doing the math, right? You're getting comfortable with the math. You're seeing how things could change, right? I'm just looking at your spreadsheet here. Like your, your row 15 has got a 6% yield. You know, if I scroll down, I saw somewhere 1%. I don't know if I saw any negatives, but maybe some negatives. Some people have negatives. So, yeah, and I yeah. didn't so this, see negatives. This is good. Yeah. This is very good. I like what you have here. So um, what have you seen in the last 35 days? Has the market picked up at all? Did you see stuff come on, come off? Have, have you learned any soft information over the last 35 days? Yeah, yeah. So by, uh, by looking at the market every day, so I, will, I was looking 
twice a day um, in the morning uh, in the in the evening mm -hmm. and uh, and the, and the market in that particular market is uh, Oh, first of all, this is uh, San Antonio, Texas, mm -hmm. and the market I am looking at is is really uh, it's really hot. It, it, it's really uh, I'm noticing the houses are coming to the market, mm -hmm. bending in two weeks, even not even less sometimes. Yeah. And so all what you see there, all you see the the white mm -hmm. the white uh, rows are the houses that are available currently. Got it. Got it. And the the gray rows, those are pending, okay. pending, pending listings, and the dark purple mm -hmm. are the sold ones. Nice. And so you can by looking. That's where they are all sold. And so, so by by looking at the spreadsheet, you know there is a lot of pendings and sold properties um, in that in this in this particular zip code. Yeah. Um, and I just want to add that the orange listings are those listings that, uh, for some reason, they disappeared from from the from mm. from from Realtor.com. They just disappeared for some reason after a few days, and I uh, I didn't have a I, I just didn't have a. Yeah, I think that's the right thing. I that the data as you're going yeah. through this, we're really trying to build skill and, and experience. If if data like if something comes on and off and you can't figure it out, I think it's great. Just flag it orange and move on. I know some people get all wrapped around the axle and they spend hours trying to figure it out. That's, that's not important yet, right? We're in, the, we're in the early, we're building a baseline of knowledge. So uh, I think you did a great job by just flagging that and moving on. So uh, very impressed by yeah. step one. You hit hitting, Thank it, you. hitting it twice a day, that's what I wanted. Uh, you're definitely learning. So let's, let's jump to tab number two. You're tracking your personal expenses. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And again, so, folks, yeah. the reason I have this in the 75 hey, uh, hard challenge for real estate is A, you don't like to do it. I know you don't. I know I don't. But as I've shared many times, the thing that really helped Olivia and I really accelerate is we started understanding our family expenses. Not only did we like live below yeah. our means, which is a fancy word or phrase, we really did start removing wants and we understood it, what our needs were. So uh, this is just an exercise to get familiar with that. So I like what you have here. Yeah, so I was trying every day, every expense every day. And um, from me and my wife, and uh, I would write it there and add it to the spreadsheet mm -hmm. for every single day. And, <laughs> Did your uh, wife yeah, go like, what are you am, doing, honey? <laughs> yeah, why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. I said I just didn't add it to the spreadsheet. <laughs> I <laughs> said okay. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, but I'm but but I'm usually but I'm usually good at attracting attracting my expenses every month. So mm -hmm. I, I usually do that on a, another spreadsheet, mm -hmm. but not by every day. But I do it per month. Ah, gotcha. So gotcha. I track my, and I and I I just track, but I just track the biggest expenses. Like uh, when I see maybe fifty dollars and up. Okay. I will. Uh, I'll put a note. I'll put a note, and I want to know like what is it. If it's not grocery or anything like yeah. that, I'll put a note in my spreadsheet already. But this one is more comprehensive, mm -hmm. and it it's uh, it tracks everything. And, I love it. Um, yeah, and I, I, you know, it's it's a good it's a good thing because uh, yeah. it it also helped to think about it. So I'm, yeah. I'm and I'm putting like a total weekly expense somehow. Some of them are, you know. Mm -hmm. Not done yet, but uh, they are, they are, they are uh, especially the latest. Yeah, as long as you're doing it daily, I love it. Uh, again, this is maybe something you don't do, you don't want to historically, but you will summarize weekly. You just, we, we as, I don't know, investors, we need to get comfortable talking about money. We need to be able to talk with our significant others. We need to talk with our kids. There's just not enough financial intelligence out there. So this is just an exercise to kind of facilitate, kind of help that. So. I really like what you have here, and I think you're nailing, you know, step two. So, let's go to step number three. Thank you. Grow your network. All right, what do we got here? Let me move this spreadsheet. Go up. Sorry, I gotta. There we go. Aha! Look what you got here. So tell me about this one. Tell yeah, me about number three. Yeah, number three is uh, 
is really uh, is, is, is good and useful to me because I, I got to. So number three is grow your network yep. in the market you're in. And so, uh, so as you see, there's a lot of names there. Some of them are, so I've been talking to, bro, uh, to brokers, realtors, mm -hmm. contractors, property managers, um, and um, even um, some foundation repair, maybe plumbers. Oh, um, San Antonio kind of, needs kind of, foundation stuff, yep. That that's right, and I f found out found out that about, about that. So, uh, and so, um, so yeah, there's uh, information there. So I've been talking to one person every every day, and I uh, I spend I spend about thirty to thirty five minutes talking to someone um, in that market. That's awesome. Um, what I and I, and I write my notes when I remember when I what I remember I when I uh, when I at the end of the day I write my notes. Some mm. of them at the beginning did not, but then I I, I realized that I, uh, I when I started to hear the same things again and again. Exactly. I, uh, I I started to write that down, and some of them I would actually uh, you know bold it so that I know that this is more important, and it's like a conclusion to me. Mm. So. Um, and I can write people too. Some of them were really helpful, and uh, and uh, some 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 of them were helpful and seems very knowledgeable. Yeah. And some of them, you know, they were okay. They were good. Um, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Again, you're so far so good. This is what I want from people. It's funny when I create a challenge like this. I know. I know for a fact that some people will think some parts are easy, some parts are hard, but everybody will find different things easy and hard. It's, it's, it's funny for some people getting, talking to people is easy. Some people it's hard. It's, it's just fun to watch, but I'm just scrolling through your spreadsheet here and you're getting exactly what I wanted. And more importantly, you're realizing that as you get data two, three, four times, you're really starting to paint a picture about the market, about the area. So uh, I really like what you have here. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of information there, and uh, I, I need to go back to read again because mm -hmm. after 30 days, uh, you realize you uh, you uh, you actually learn something when you go back to the first notes. Yeah, you will you will actually uh, you know uh, make sure that things are you know you you learn from it. You learn from it as 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 you go back to it. So yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, so yeah, been talking to people. <laughs> that, that's awesome. So number four sometimes trips people up. So we'll see how you did here. Number four is you got to read 30 minutes a day about your market, right? About San Antonio. How have you found this step? Where do you go? What do you do here? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this one was this one was a bit challenging to me mm. because you required reading for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. And so what I found that some of the days... I did not have that, or I just maybe fall asleep before I read the 30 minutes. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, so what I did, so what I do now, what I do, and I, I realized that I have to do to, to, to make that to read actually. So, uh, so every Saturday morning, I wake up early in the morning okay. and I read for two, two hours, two hours and a half. Nice. And, okay. and uh, during the week, I actually find articles that show up on my uh, my Google or oh okay and, and it seems like they it seems like they know what I'm looking at so they ah. keep giving me same information about San Antonio Texas and so I I um, so I first so I, because I don't have time I send it to myself yep during the week and then the weekend I go back and read all of it that's awesome and so I spend two hours two hours and a half. Uh, not during every day, but mm -hmm. that's like the reading for the week, basically. Yeah, I might actually tweak that because I, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see how this challenge. I think I may just make like a two-hour weekly challenge, uh, right? Cumulative, pretty much just like you said. Hey, if you want to read every day, great. If you got to read on the weekend, great. Um, so yeah, I think this, this is, this is good. Yeah, yeah, and uh, a lot of reading, good information. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's, and I can compare to the. I can compare to the what what I hear from people as well. So uh, yeah, you're validating information, yeah. right? You're seeing like you say, like you yeah. say, yeah, like you say, validate information in different ways. Yeah, so that's very very helpful. 
Very cool. So number um, five is getting comfortable with the math. And uh, as I saw in, in, in number one, which was the tracking sheet, you've really morphed that into calculating yield right on that first spreadsheet. So you're clearly good with the math. Uh, at least that's what I could tell. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, so I, so yeah, I, I, uh, I added all the information there and, uh, and the information to the, up to the yield. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, you can, you can look, look, you can, you can look this up. You, you understand the taxes. You can, uh, yeah. you can ask, uh, you can ask, you can calculate the mortgage. Um, yeah. And you can do all that step by step. Uh, although I have questions, uh, but um, you know, yeah, you take a best uh, shot, right? You, yeah, I, I took my management, all that. Yep. Property management. Yes, yes. So uh, that's uh, that's 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 that step. Yeah. Very cool. And and I can tell you that, and, and Michael, I can tell you that within this step. So it says calculate yield for two properties a day. Yep. Well, so so what I did was actually list the price. One day I find the mortgage. Mm -hmm. for all of the properties based on my interest rate. The other day I look at the taxes for all the properties. Oh, I got you. Okay. And then I go and then I go and find, you know, the basically property management is, is easy, 10%. Yep. Um, but I found each or I find out about the insurance too. So mm -hmm. I have uh, to call people, find out about the insurance. And then I can uh, and then so it was a step a, a column by column. Got it. In the step, instead of two properties per day, I go column by column, and then I until I reached reach the end, and then I can get to the yield. So, folks, what he's talking about here sense. just yeah, absolutely does. I love I like that, Sam. So, what he's doing here is he's going back to the spreadsheet, what I call the tracking spreadsheet of, of number one, and he's just you know he's putting in column S, column T, you know, day by day, and ultimately what he's trying to get to, and what I call the math is he's, he's trying to get here to what in his spreadsheet is column A, B, apple boy, uh, which is the yield. I, I think everything boils down to yield. What is the highest yield? As you know, Sam, I believe the only job you have after you do this is to figure out what is average for San Antonio, right? Once you know average, you are right. empowered. And near as I can tell, average, just based on the limited data I have, looks to be somewhere like two or 3%. So um, th yeah. this is all good good, good information. So I like it. So let's talk yes. about number six, re attend a real estate meetup once a week. How ha have you found that to be easy, hard? What do you think? Yeah, that one was, uh, yeah, that one uh, is, uh, is easy because I can find an hour every once, one, one evening and I mm -hmm. can look up uh, webinars. Uh, I, I, uh, I already have some interest in some of the webinars you can see here, A&M. Mm -hmm. uh, webinars at Texas A&M. That's a university. Oh, cool! They have a they have a real estate uh, department, which is great. So, uh, and then uh, I found some other ones uh, talking about my market. Mm. Um, I attend those. So this step was easy uh, because I, uh, uh, you know, to find an hour, an hour and a half once a week. Yeah. To uh, it, it's funny. This one, if I were to put this challenge out a year ago, maybe. A, 14 months ago, people would have complained. It was too hard, too hard. I can't find them. I don't have time. But now yeah. everything's on Zoom. It's like, this one's cake. No problem. <laughs> it, exactly. Exactly. And you mentioned that. You know, so webinar is fine. And yep. uh, you can go from there, find a webinar. It, there's no meetings in person. So it's yeah. an easy one. You can find one all over the country. So yeah. that's not, uh, that's, um, I can hear one from California. Or I can hear from Texas or anywhere. So uh, that's awesome. But I, I like to I, I like to, to be to 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 hear things related to what I uh, what I did, mm -hmm. uh, and I I want to also hear about commercial and because you mentioned that in the challenge, hear about something else like yeah. hear, uh, lear, learn about um, a storage unit, learn about commercial, learn about um, things like that. You know, it can be also it adds it adds up to what you what you learn in your market. So yeah, it, it really mean it, you just never know where that little switch will come in. I mean, frankly, what what allowed us Olivia and I to really move on and, and create wealth was just one meetup we went to about small multifamily. And again, we went to that thinking we're just gonna we're gonna learn stuff. We had no intention. All we had was houses. We didn't know what we were doing. That that one meetup changed our life. So uh, yeah, I think I think occasionally seeing other topics. Uh, is important. You just never know where you're going to pick something up. 
that's that's true that's true yeah that's uh, that's always uh, that's always uh, be become a from a student uh, become always a student like you say and uh, yeah so you know, i'm curious about, about number seven that. number seven it's summarize your week how has that been for you yeah that, that one was the ch that one to me was a was a bit challenging uh, ah. especially when i started Okay. Was it when I started? Because I don't know what should I summarize. I, I am hearing information <laughs> fresh. Oh, it was, it was too open ended, <laughs> so, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was it was open ended, and uh, it was a bit challenging because you know all the information I'm getting, like what I what should I summarize in this ah, step, and funny. then and then also you know it's uh, it it really uh, it it takes it takes extra time, and then when I when I started the challenge, I. Uh, I didn't realize all these steps. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I, I think there's number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Yeah, we'll get to number eight in a minute. That's, that's fun. Yeah, so again, uh, but, but, on, on number seven, have you taken the time just to summarize yourself or do you and your wife maybe sit down for breakfast and talk about the week? Or is this just, Sam, you summarizing for yourself? Well, I'm, I'm currently summarizing for myself. Okay, um, that's okay. And I really liked the summarizing the last two weeks. Um, mm. before the freezing and yeah. it was uh, <laughs> it was really good and I started to realize yeah what's important I should write it here just summarize it yeah and I think the next half maybe I should talk to my wife about um, about what I'm what I'm finding out yeah I think um, that I think that would be a good thing what I've seen historically is if people go through this challenge or go through my course what really becomes valuable is, kind of sharing what you're learning as you go with your significant other and it, it will evolve right what you share in week one will be like a shotgun oh i learned this and i learned this and i learned this and i learned this but by like week four or week five it's really condensed it's tight it's a good story you can start to tell about good or great deals you can start talking about who are the great people you met um so i think i think the summary gets better and more organized the more weeks you do it so i like what you have here well, I think you're right. This is very important, and it, it really it, it moves it moves you to know what's 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 all in there. And uh, yeah, yeah uh, it's it's very important. I liked I liked it. I started to do it more yeah. uh, in the next few weeks. So yeah, very cool. Well, number eight's really simple. Uh, if you miss a day, start over. And obviously, I took that from the original physical challenge. And um, yeah. you know, I. I I, I think I'll tweak some of the first seven, but you always got to have number eight. Like, okay, start over. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. So, <laughs> so I, so I did, so I did, so I did start over. Oh, you did. Um, okay. At the first week, so uh, it was. Uh, so I started when with one market, and I missed a couple of days, and I said, well, um, number I'm eight. Start with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start over. I'm yeah. gonna start over because yeah. I wanna, I wanna really do it, and uh, you know, I don't wanna just. Uh, just go with with what I what I learned. I want to start it over. So that makes that, sense. So that means sense that challenge. yeah, that means a lot. I mean, that's all. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna know if you started over or not. So the fact that you had self discipline uh, to start over. In fact, that in the fact that you took the opportunity to change markets, I think that's a good thing to do, right? If you get into like day 15 or day 20 and you don't like your market, folks, change markets. It's okay. Start over. You're, this is you know nobody's gonna come knock on your door and you know take one of your kids away. This is supposed to be helpful. You're supposed to be learning. Um, I did it on purpose to help people. So uh, now that uh, you know you're through this first, kind of like through half almost. What, what do you think? You you like it? Yeah, I do like it. I do like it, and I think uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a great foundation. Um, and it's free. Be, and it's a free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes it even better. <laughs> even better. That's right. Infinite return. So, well, I liked it because uh, Michael. Because uh, first, I want to understand what what people are saying. I want to know what like when when you get an email, you get a you know you get a you get to talk to a wholesaler and send you all these emails about properties. Like I don't know anything about what they say. Exactly. Like, it doesn't make doesn't is this a good purchase or is it a bad purchase? Is it is it a good deal or a bad deal? Exactly. And I and I suffered from that, and I said, well, how do I how do I really how do I really know what's going on? I mean, they can tell me any number I, I, I have, but I, I don't really know yeah. myself. Like you say, if you hear from people, they may tell you something different, but if you don't do the work, yeah. uh, it, it may, I, I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like to do it myself just because I, 
I can tell that this is a good deal or not. Sam, you've just unlocked the magic of my course and the magic of this challenge. You're, the only thing I'm trying to teach you is what is average so you know a good or great deal. People need to realize, wholesalers call me all the time. And while wholesalers used to produce on average good deals, they haven't for quite a while. But unless you know that, if you're new and you don't know that, you're going you're gonna to buy a deal at retail. And you know that's a problem. Flippers, how do you know what you can flip it at? You've got to understand deals. I get asked all the time, does what I teach, the course I teach help no matter what? And the answer is yes, because all I'm doing is teaching you how to find a good deal. And every market is different, all of those things. So first off, let me, just in case people see this guy on, on TV, this is Jimbo. He's hey, my, Jimbo. Uh, he's my 16, <laughs> almost 16 year old puppy. He's not feeling good these days. So I'm trying to uh, keep him quiet. I don't know if you can hear him talk, but uh, he needs to go outside here in a, a little bit. So, so uh, yeah. So Sam, what, what, uh, what are closing thoughts you have for somebody who might be thinking about taking this challenge? Uh, what would you tell them? Yeah, I would, I would tell them that uh, you, you, we, we need to understand, you need to understand your market and uh, so that the deals you get, um, they, you know, you can, you can vet the deals yourself instead of someone sending you an, e an email mm -hmm. telling you about this deal or, or, or that deal. At least you know, and I, I like what you say, it's an insurance for you mm -hmm. to, know, um, to know what's good and bad and, and, and great. And yeah. so that, uh, and I, uh, you know, uh, although I'm not the expert yet, um, and I have I have questions, but I'm I'm still uh, every day every day is better, yeah. and every day I'm learning. Um, like uh, like yesterday we did uh, during our uh, our Saturday uh, session. Yeah. And I have the question about A, B, and C, which is the uh, repair repair cost, and yeah. you just answer that question. Someone someone. A Someone asked the question, and I have to go back to my, now to my spreadsheet and adjust my A and B and C, and so that the make ready yeah. um, cost is reflective. And cool. uh, but yeah, I, so I liked it because it tells me what should I do, and every day I move from you know good to better, and yeah. that's my point here to understand my market. Yeah, um, because I don't want to put my money somewhere. And just give it to someone, and uh, it, you know, I don't know what's my return. That's pretty awesome. One of the things that I hope happens for anybody that takes this 75 day challenge is by the end of 75 days, you will probably know your market, right? I saw your spreadsheet number one, right? You're looking at a specific zip code, specific housing type. You will know that better than 98 or 99% of the people in your market. And that's empowering, right? That's what I'm trying sure. to get you to. And then lastly, what I'm teaching you in this is I really am teaching you a skill. Once you have it, you could take that skill and take it to any market across the country because it's the same behavior. Does that make sense? Do you feel that? Yeah, true, true. Because I, uh, one of the ideas I have, maybe, you know, choose that market, but maybe I can move into another market, maybe have, have both in, you know, invest in two markets in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a skill that, uh, that's awesome. that, that I'm, I'm developing as well. Yeah. Well, Sam, uh, I want to thank you for doing this. It means a lot that you are willing to come on and share this experience. I'm going to post this video today and see if we can't get more people taking on this 75 challenge. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Michael. That was great. Thank you so much. And I may have the questions later on, but uh, that will come. You thank you so much.